Okay, so I never do these. Uh, I'm in my mom's car. Um, just dropped her off for surgery. She's having her seventh spinal spinal fusion surgery um, today. And uh, so her surgery is at Scripps Green in Torrey Pines area of La Jolla. And I went in uh, with her, and of course they wanted to screen and all that stuff. And uh, I, I basically they turned wanted to turn me away, and I said, "Look." This is my mom. I'm an only child. This is the only one I got. Um, Dad's gone. She could die in surgery. I wanted to spend a little bit of time with her before she goes. And I asked for the security to come down. I said, look, can I at least walk her down uh, to admitting and, and wait with her a minute? And she, she said, yeah, that's okay. So I went down. Uh, I received some guff up front, and they said, well, we're going to postpone the surgery. And I said, I don't think you're going to. And so I walked down, and the lady in, in the surgery waiting center was wonderful, just lovely, totally understood everything. Um, and so I was there for about 10 minutes maybe, and a the security lady who let me come down came down and said, well, you lied to me. You said you were just going to walk her down. I'm like, I'm sorry. That was a misunderstanding. I was just going to wait with her until she was ready to go back. But give me five minutes, and then I'll go. So I did. I waited and, and hugged it out, kissed my mom, said, I love you, call me afterwards, um, and all that stuff. And the nursing staff was wonderful down there. They totally get it, and they hate that everything changes every 30 minutes, that they got to redo everything, and, and uh, the rules are changing constantly. Hey, people back at the beach. At least a little bit. And anyway, um, I even told the security guard lady, hey, I will come back and see you on my way out. And I did. She wasn't there, but her co colleague was there. And You know, I don't blame people who are just enforcing the rules as they, they have presented in front of them, and I get it. But I think it's important that we do what's right for us, as long as we're not posing a risk to somebody else. And... Uh, I've been screened before and I don't have COVID. I'm going to be having my own surgery here shortly and I'm going to be getting screened and you know, the security guards are standing around bored to death and that's fine. Um, I just wanted to spend a little extra time with my mom before she went into surgery. And uh, fortunately through a tiny bit of pushback that I gave, I was able to go ahead and, uh, spend a little extra time with her and this video is not going to go anywhere no one's going to watch it uh, but I think it's important that people know that it, you can push back and get what's right because what's not right is when people do have coronavirus and when they get coronavirus they're sick and then they die alone in the hospital because no one is allowed to go visit them I think that's tragic. I don't think that's cool. And I think it's immoral. So I took a stand and I'm glad I did. So uh, God bless all of you. Be strong. Resist tyranny at every turn. See you guys.